The Volume Quick Start Wizard is the fastest and easiest way to program a simple volume measurement application. Power up the device and press the right arrow to enter the main menu. Press the right arrow again to select the wizard's option. Press the right arrow to select Quick Start. Highlight QS Volume and press the right arrow to select. Followed by the down arrow to select Start. Now choose if your device is single or dual point. Press the right arrow to edit your measuring point. Using the up and down arrow, select what point you are programming and press the right arrow to enter your selection. Press the down arrow to proceed. Now let's select your transducer model. Press the right arrow to edit. Select your transducer model and press the right arrow to enter your selection. Press the down arrow to select next to proceed. As the speed of sound changes with temperature, it's critical that we know the ambient temperature in the process to achieve an accurate measurement. The default temperature source is auto. It uses the transducer's internal temperature sensor. Press the down arrow to proceed. Now to select your vessel shape, press the right arrow to edit. Using the up-down arrows, highlight your vessel shape and press the right arrow to enter your selection. Depending on the vessel shape selected, you may need to enter other parameters. For our example, we have used conical bottom. Press the down arrow to proceed. The next step in the wizard is to enter the units of measure. The units you select will be used for setting your measurement range, calibration points, and be displayed on the screen when in run mode. Press the right arrow to edit. Using the up-down arrows, highlight your units of measure and press the right arrow to enter your selection. Press the down arrow to select Next to proceed. The next step in the wizard is to enter the empty distance. The empty distance is the distance from the face of the transducer to the process empty point. Press the right arrow to modify the empty distance value. Use the left and right arrows to move the cursor and the up and down arrows to modify the empty distance value. To move the decimal point, position the cursor over the decimal point and then use the up arrow to move it to the left and down arrow to move it to the right. Once you have put in your empty distance, press the right arrow to highlight OK. Press the right again to accept the empty distance. Press the down arrow to proceed. Next, let's enter the span distance. Press the right arrow to edit. The span is the measurement range from the primary measuring device empty point. Set your span distance using the up and down arrows. Once the span distance value has been entered, press the right arrow to highlight OK. Press the right again to accept the span distance. Press the down arrow to proceed to the next wizard. The next step is to set the reaction speed of the device. The factory response rate default is set to medium, which is a rate of level change less than 1 meter in 1 minute. Press the right arrow to modify this value. There are three options for speed of response, slow, medium, and fast. Your response rate should be set slightly higher than the maximum process response change. Using the up or down arrows, highlight your response rate and press the right arrow to enter your selection. Press the down arrow to proceed. The next step is to set the dimensions of the tank bottom based on the tank shape. Press the right arrow to select Edit to enter the A dimension. Set your A dimension value using the up and down arrows. For conical bottom tanks, the A dimension is the height of the cone. Once the A dimension value has been entered, press the right arrow to highlight OK. Press the right again to accept the A dimension. Press the down arrow to proceed. The next step is to set the maximum volume level. Press the right arrow to edit. Set your maximum volume using the up and down arrows. Once the maximum volume has been entered, press the right arrow to highlight OK. Press the right again to accept the maximum volume. Press the down arrow to proceed. You have successfully configured the measurement point 1 for volume. If this is a dual point unit, you can configure the next point using the right arrow to select yes. If this is your only point of measurement, then finish the configuration using the down arrow to select no. You are almost done. If you need to make any changes, use the up arrow to select back to scroll through the wizard to ensure the information is correct. If you want to start over again, press the left arrow to select cancel. If you were confident that you have entered all the correct data, then load and save the values into the sensor using the down arrow to select Finish. Congratulations! You have completed the Volume Quick Start Wizard. When the wizard is complete, you will be brought back to the Wizard Quick Start selection. To exit the wizard and return to the main menu, press the left arrow. 
To exit the main menu and return to run mode, press the left arrow again. Once you are back in run mode, you will see the volume measurement and you have successfully completed the volume quick start wizard. Congratulations! For more information, please visit our website.